What is going on, Lunatics? Guys, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes at Luna Classic. There's a lot going on with Terraform Labs. I'm going to take you into it without further ado. If you like this content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. You've noticed that the market has started to pump. The reason, if you're looking for a reason, you don't know what's going on, uh, the Ethereum ETFs, uh, 19B uh, filings are being updated uh, at the request of the SEC, which makes it look like Ethereum is about to be accepted as an ETF in the United States. That's why the entire market has been ripping for the last 24 hours. So we'll see whether it continues or not today. Uh, but it, just for your information, there will be a sell-off tomorrow when the approval happens. It happened with Bitcoin. It's going to happen with Ethereum. That's the way these things work, right? So uh, again, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the button and uh, let's kick it off. So first up, uh, Terraform Labs, uh, May 24, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when you're going to get a little bit more information that's probably or potentially going to move the needle. And remember, this is Judge Jed Rakoff, the Jackoff, the Rakoff, the Rakoff. I said Rakoff, didn't I? I didn't say Jackoff. Did I say Jackoff? I didn't mean to say that if I did say that. If I did, take the kids out of the room. Come on. Rakoff, uh, Judge Jed Rakoff, 82 years old, uh, about to celebrate his 493rd birthday. We call him 83, but you know, really, really, really old. Now, the average age of people who are pro-crypto, 48 years old. The average pe uh, the average age of people who are um, uh, anti-crypto, 49 and over. Duh. I just did the math for you. So, uh, But Judge Jed Rakoff is going to make a decision here on, on May the 24th. By the way, go buy a Rakoff token. Go buy Rakoff. It's, it's, on, it's on the Lunk blockchain. You want to be part of this community? Go buy it. Uh, anyway, so they're going to have this hearing in which they will find out you know, what are the penalties. You know, what's the, the what's the liability that Terra Classics uh, or Terraform Labs would have uh, for all of this stuff that happened not in the United States uh, while the United States is trying to uh, uh, scam Terraform Labs for five billion dollars. Uh, you know, because that's you know what it's the U.S. US government. It's what we do. So. Um, we'll see how that plays out over the next little while. Now, as far as the, the rest goes, CoinGate has another article up. Remember yesterday we talked about $3 uh, Luna Classic. It's a pie in the sky at this point. You know, we're going to have to have a lot of burns, significant amount of burns. But uh, one thing that we did pass is that all nodes is now provide accurate Luna Classic circulation uh, circulating data supply. The proposal aimed at changing the circulating supply API endpoint to all nodes FCD, while developer Raider warned about the need to persuade Binance and Coin Market Cap to use a totally different API for total supply and circulating supply. So uh, we we could see uh, we could see a very interesting sort of uh, dynamic play out here uh, as we get. Uh, by the way, it should be noted uh, we don't know if this is entirely accurate. Five point seven point eight nine trillion uh, in circulation, and then six point eight one six billion in circulation. We don't know that that number is uh, entirely accurate. So uh, we'll we'll you know, we'll find out very very soon. I think that it should be accurate. But remember, Vegas uh, sent the circulating supply over to Coin Market Cap months and months and months ago. And then I think Happy Caddy might have fixed it uh, or unfixed it or did whatever. And then, you know, now because we've got all these different people that are that are doing shit, um, we're going to have one person dedicated to it. And that's actually a pretty good thing, uh, d despite what you might think of, of all nodes. Now, uh, when you look at this, you'll see the exact same thing that you're seeing from me. You're seeing a, 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 this ascending wedge that's probably playing out right here. Good to see uh, an ascending wedge coming, and we're trading at about 11 right now. So uh, I think we're probably in a, a pretty good spot for that big up. Remember, I told you 11.6 is where I expected the first sort of resistance level to, to come to, and uh, that looks to be probably uh, accurate. But then... We'll check out the price action, see where it goes from there. Uh, as far as community guidelines, uh, calling all validators, they're looking to increase liquidity in uh, uh, the 2.5 billion Lunk liquidity injection, AMP Lunk, uh, Lunk to USTC pool on TerraSwap, uh, and then the Lunk Whale pool on White Whale Dex. So they're looking for specific places where we can enhance liquidity, which would make traders a little bit more active in their opinion and estimation. Everything else the same as we talked about yesterday. So now let's look at price action. And there you see it. Uh, now I've got it just kind of wicked over here to show you guys this is going to be the resistance area. But you know this is what you're seeing is if I were to draw that out just a little bit more, you know, you're kind of looking at uh, an ascending wedge. I'm going to move it around a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Again, I'm putting it at the resistance point for this, uh, you know, for, for right now. But I do think that you know this is uh, the next move. We're going to get a, a nice big impulse move coming out of this channel uh, very shortly. 
and we're at 11 one right now continuing a little bit of a pump so 11 six we're going to see if it rejects off of it might go a little bit higher up to 12 104 kind of hit this uh, sort of line, if you will, right in this sort of range right there. So um, this came out sideways, uh, but we're minting higher lows as we go up. You can see that pretty clearly. So we're in this channel hoping for that breakout. If we get the 11.6 in the rejection, uh, come back down here. Nothing wrong with it coming back down to the 10.2, 10.3 range. Uh, just kind of you know banging around here just a little bit, gathering up some momentum for a big upward swing. Let's face it, it's 5:21 right now, May 21st. Um, the the next big motivator probably Binance burns. So we might have about 10 days of consolidation in this range before it really kicks up a notch. And then in fact, it might just end up being that that it looks something like this right here, where we come back in here, uh, bang around. You know, come back down into that 10-3 range, then come up and test it one more time, uh, and then just kind of move around here, tighten it up into 10-9, and then boom, now we're just kind of consolidating, and then boom, that's when we get the breakout. And then we get that breakout, and the breakout comes up into, there we go, around 15 into this range right here. Now, that could happen earlier, but that would most probably be the next area where we get a, a good amount of resistance. And then up above that, then we're talking about right here at around 18 uh, and then 21, 22. So that seems to be, if the market doesn't just explode, the market could be exploding right now. We might just be kind of in the middle of something crazy. But uh, that's what I, I would think would be the logical sort of next move, if you will, for uh, for how we're going to play out. So uh, let me know what you think, by the way. Here are some of the tokens over here. C Luna, uh, C UST, uh, C Hall. You know, all of these are still having just 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 fantastic sort of rips. Uh, Doge. We got MAGA token over here up 4x, uh, almost 5x. Elon X th up 3x. So you know we've got a lot of uh, we got a lot of pumps going on over the last seven days, um, last hour or so. You know you're not seeing a whole lot of volume. Uh, you can check that out. Looper is up. Um, 100% over the last, and then in the 24 hour, LMT, IDC, TD, TADF, and Meme, uh, Orny. So you got plenty of different tokens out here that are having little moments here. Let's look at um, voting here. Reactivate the Osmosis IBC. You want to know who a bad actor is? You want to know? Uh, you want to know who you're making a mistake by not trusting me in this process? Uh, here's the proposal 12104 to reactivate the Osmosis uh, IBC. Are there's only two votes uh, no with veto. Everybody else has voted yes right now. You want to know who voted no with veto? Do you want to know? You know who it is already. Jesus is Lord. You guys have continued to give this guy 6% of the voting power, and he's continued to use it to try to stifle you and prevent you from expanding into... Um, Whatever new thing there might be, in this case, the IBC client update, this is the bad actor in this space. This is the guy who's trying to scam you. And, and, and I suggest you don't have to listen to me, but I'm telling you, you're seeing it play out. And we do this every day. We go look at these votes and we see how these proposals are voted on. You know who the bad actors are. You know this is a bad actor. He is trying to stifle any kind of prosperity for the Luna Classic blockchain. Why? Most probably he's paid by Terraform Labs. Most probably he's part of this network here that's trying to stifle, with, along with Moon Rabbit, um, that, that they're trying to, uh, and my, he might be the Moon Rabbit for all we know. It might not even be Moon Rabbit Validator. That might be a facade. Um, a fugazi, if you will. Eh? So what is happening over here? You are continue to, to, continuing to give him power. Every time uh, somebody stakes with Jesus as Lord, you are working against your own better interest. You know why you're doing it? Lord Jesus. Think about that. Just think about that. So what is happening at this point? Well, it uh, looks like it's going to pass despite the fact that he is attempting to stop you know, whatever it is. So um, I can't say anything more than that. Uh, volume trading up 34 million, so we're starting to get a little bit more activity, 132% up, up 7% in market cap. Same thing over here, up about 80% to 10.4 million, uh, up 8% in in market cap. So you know a little bit of a pump going on, not not something uh, not bad. So uh, burns, by the way, 307 million like up from the day before. Still not fantastic, still not great, but you know we're getting there. Um, at least we have something going on now. Um, if you are interested in doing some trading, if you're interested in doing 
uh, some some exploring into the ecosystem, I recommend Terraport.finance. Um, again, you, you have your exchange and it has a robust amount of tokens uh, continuing to get listed on here, including Rack off the jack off, rack off, rack off. Did I say that again? I meant rack. I just meant rack off. I just, 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 just rack. It. Look, I have trouble with eighty-two-year-old men's names. That's all I can say. So, anyway, if you want to come over here and you can trade them, uh, then you've got Elon, you've got LWM, you got H Meme, uh, you've got Food, you've got Eagle Sun, LNC. Uh, go, go, do this. Buy some of these tokens. You buy some of these tokens. Guess what happens? Then you start to grow your bag. And when you start growing your bag, look. I had somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, I want to say, you know, 200 bucks, 200 bucks the other day. And look what I have here, $578 right now. Uh, and look, they're all Terra Classic. Everything is Terra Classic. Uh, N-Meme, uh, Lunk, uh, Luna Classic. That's the one I had, 110. Uh, each one of these, like 50 bucks. And look at them. Almost all of them are pumping. H-Meme pumping, Cookie pumping, Lunk pumping, LNC, I mean. Uh, and, and then um, uh, and then N-Meme all pumping, all making a move. So, you know, perhaps, just perhaps, um, you might want to grab just a little bit of this stuff uh, and hold on to it just in case. Look, you're always looking for life-changing money, right? You're always looking for life-changing investments. Well, um, you know, these are the places where you're going to get them. So uh, check them out uh, again. And you can go trade them on Terraport Classic, uh, or I'm sorry, Terraport.finance. Uh, and then if you're into some risk-based gaming, then I would highly recommend that you go to Terra Casino and check it out because uh, you can burn Bitcoin, you can burn... Well, there are some very exciting plans coming for Cryptonomy VIP users. Make sure that you're signed up to the Cryptonomy Telegram. Follow the Twitter account for rewards and prizes. There's going to be extensive promo programs and giveaways for all Cryptonomy VIP users. Also, I've uh, introduced a unique opportunity for users to evaluate the platform's performance and share your personal experiences. So if you are looking to do that, your comments can be posted on cryptonomy.finance slash reviews. You guys know what I've been saying. You know, I think XRP is about to have a moment. So we're going to make a deposit over here. Uh, we're going to do 10,000 XRP right now we're going to stake that for we got another 12 months so we're going to put that in there 120.7 percent apy we're just going to stake this long term scheduled amount is going to be 12,075 xrp on the way out uh the yields continue the launch pool tars protocol did a 13x x verse remember did a 4x blade swap did a 5x uh, these guys are finding really good projects, putting them out there for you. So make sure you sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. You can use Ethereum, you can use Bitcoin, you can use all kinds of different uh, cryptos in order to uh, do what you got to do, if you will. And uh, if you do that, then they're going to burn Luna Classic. And as we can see over here uh, as top 100 burners, then guess what? Terra Casino, currently number eight cremation coin right up here like let's pass this up let's let's you know become one of the big burners and terraport by finance by the way top 15 over here burns almost as much as happy caddy crypto and look they talk shit about each other crazy huh they talk shit about each other but it looks like they're having a little bit of competition so if you want to help uh either one of them do something uh anyway that's my time thank you so much for tuning in remember uh jesus is lord is the bad actor in this space there's nothing more evident than what you see that it's playing out right now. Uh, but if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. And look, um, we're gonna be fine. Uh, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna get this done. And and the question now would be, um, what's next? And I think what's next is a little bit of sideways range, unless this market explodes, and then uh, it, it'll go crazy. But um, again, you let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again very very soon.